We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. And now I really played the game, I know the rules. Don't bring me half ass shit, I know the moves. Plus, I know you like the video, so hit that like. Really played in front of big crowds, so get that right. But I ain't calling people out. So you don't know your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked than me with a next video for y'all. So what I want y'all to do, man, before I continue on, I want y'all to follow every single thing that y'all are seeing in the background while I'm speaking. This is one of the best guard builds in the game. This is a 6-7 build, right? That's gonna have goal unpluckable. And not only that, it's gonna be finishing with an 88 speed and an 86 acceleration. Now, I wish I could take credit for this build. I wish I could take all the credit. Now, of course, your boy gonna do his little adjustment and all that stuff, but I wish I could take credit. But I'm gonna have to start off this video by giving a shout out to Drew Wu TV because I've been searching for this bill. I heard rumors about this bill and I didn't believe it until I saw his video on YouTube. So I'm gonna put the link to his channel in the description. Y'all could go and show him some love, man. Definitely go and show him some love because better believe he's making your life so much easier. Now this is a glitch six, seven bill. Glitch all the way through. And at the end of all this, and I ain't gonna front, I gotta give him props. He literally had to go in and out and change the measurement probably like three times to get this glitch built. Now, as you all know the steps already, man, you all know what it is. Again, again, before we continue on, make sure and check out his channel. The link will be in the description. After you all don't check out this video or whatever, at the end of the video, make sure to check out his channel, man. All right. Now, that's the first step right there. You all see the measurements, everything, all of that. Now, you know what it is, save the bill. And as soon as you reach this screen right here, wait for a while, as soon as the button pop up for you to back out, just go by edit bill and then back out. Y'all know the process for these glitch bill, man. Y'all know the process by now. Now you go into settings and change the measurements from imperial to metric. Now, as soon as you get done with that, just go right back into the builder, of course, right and find the same exact build that you was working on and go on edit build. Now, after you click and you get in the edit build, of course, right? I want you to change the numbers now. Now, I want you to follow these exact numbers. For the height, I want you to put 2.05. For the weight, put the lightest weight at 85 kgs. And at the wingspan, I want you to put 2.31. For the body shape, you could pretty much do what you want to be quite honest, man. That's up to you. And you know the process after this, man, you just go forward and then you just max it out. It is what it is. Just max out these bars. It doesn't matter what bill you come up with because this is just a next step. Now you still gotta go through it one more time now, i'll tell you all this glitch i gotta give this guy props and just the fact that he had to go through all these levels man he deserved all the props for really figuring out this build so just try and max it out to 99 as quick as possible it doesn't matter um you see me right here it doesn't really matter where you put it because this is not the final step all right so just pick the takeover whatever takeover you want to select i selected two different ones doesn't matter to be quite honest and it's the same process you're going through again as soon as it pops up go to of course edit bill and back out now you're going back to settings and then you're changing it back from metric to imperial And it's the same process again. Now this time, this is the final time. Now this is the big one. This is where the glitch activates. You find the same bill, right? And as you select it right here, you go to edit bill, of course. Go to edit bill. They're gonna ask you if you want to, you know, add the rebirth or not. You don't have to, to be quite honest. You really don't have to, but you could just go in there, pick no, and then this is where the magic happens, right? You want to bring this all the way down to six 
seven and look at the speed y'all look at the speed at six seven now i'm lightening the weight right there look at the so you already seen is a glitch build and you getting glitch stats already because those are six six stats on a six seven build so I'm thinking about right now, do I really need a 93 with this build? Do I really need a 93 to shoot consistently and even deep range in some instances, man? Now thinking about it, man, I got builds with 85 and I'm shooting consistent limitless range. I could sacrifice on that a little bit, especially when it comes to the wingspan, because I'm really trying to get that Hall of Fame interceptor, especially with these long lengthy builds. Hall of Fame interceptor is very very effective man so i decide to go with a little bit longer arms and you know even then just focus on just going with the shorter arm so i could get higher three and higher playmaking i could make a little bit of balance somewhere in between around six eight six nine gonna be good for me man I, somewhere between there and i will settle somewhere around here at six eight man so let's see what we could come up with right now so it's a lot of balancing right now of course i'm gonna start with my playmaking i'm trying to see what it's going to look like to really start off with hall of fame bullet right because hall of fame bullet just puts you in a different category when it comes to playmaking but this is something i might put down a little bit at the end i might not finish with hall of fame bullet man to be quite honest because playmaking takes up a lot of attributes and i could make a way more balanced build if i just take a hit on that playmaking but just to start off right now just a rough draft let's start off with hall of fame bullet right now i am going to start off with the requirements the minimum requirements for the contact dunks of course 84 on the driving dunk you all know what it is and i need a uh, 75 on the vertical i'm going to get that there soon but let me work with the defense a little bit right here at a little 85 i should be able to play decent def defensively with the 85 perimeter defense of course i got the 90 so i could get a hall of fame in the scepter you don't know all right um i'm gonna put this up just to around 95 or so because you know you get an additional four for doing your workout so that goes without saying here i always try to aim with at least 70. at least 70 i always try to aim for that block so i could get those chase downs man all right push this up a little bit there and i'm i'm, I'm probably going fast this you know just skip forward so y'all could see where i settle at <laughs> you know what i mean because this is a long process for me but this was basically my first draft right here 11 finishing 23 shooting 32 on the playmaking 17 on the defensive now this is where i ended up right here check this out 15 finishing 24 on the shooting 29 on the playmaking and 18 defensive but look at the attributes though with this build man i ain't gonna front with y'all definitely elite type build it have elite contacts look at the speed look at the playmaking look at the shooting y'all and let me know what y'all think about this build overall man now once again y'all could adjust it however y'all want however y'all see fit to make it better for y'all but for me this is what i will be running with y'all and this build just gonna be crazy i got a lot of extra badges to add as well y'all know what it is so i could imagine going out there in the park and just running it crazy because this is a six seven build with that speed Whew, I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait. But anyways, man, hopefully this build actually help y'all out. And if y'all looking for a more point guard centric build that's more with Hall of Fame bullet passer, so y'all could definitely check out this video as well. This is definitely to me one of my favorite point guards to use right now at 510. But it'll have Hall of Fame bullet. And the reason why I went 510 because I need that quick first step Hall of Fame, which comes in really handy in a 5v5. But anyways, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Have a blessing, y'all. Peace.